Back to the breed demonstrations we go. We have three, three great breeds of right We're going to start it with the Gypsy Cup. Probably the most amazing new breed of horse in the U.S. Gypsy horses are known as cobs. Romany horses, colored cobs, banners, pie balls, skew balls. On the European continent, they're referred to as tickers. There are many names, but they all come from the original gypsy horse background. These hardy draft horses have roots in England, Ireland, Scotland, and Wales. From the true Romany families of Grayson. They have all from centuries of secret ladies. Generations of breeding have been handed down from father to son. Because of Romany people, they could not write. There are no written records of these wonderful horses in their heritage. It is thought that they have combined the blood of Shires, Clydesdales, Dales, and Fell ponies, and the now extinct Galloway trotting ponies. For hundreds of years, the Romney used colorful cob horses to pull their ornately carved and decorated living wagons through the country lanes of England and Ireland. The beautiful colors of these horses were very pleasing to the eye and made them instantly recognizable, which helped prevent them from being stolen or swapped for inferior horses. The heavily feather, the heavy feather rather, the long flowing mane and tail, added to the overall flash and flare, long associated with Romney people. During the First World War, one of those horses in the UK were bought by the army and taken to Europe. All sizes and shapes of horses were used to pull cannons, carry regiments into battle, and bring the injured from the front lines. The only type of horse the army did not want to buy was a spotted horse. Obviously, these would not, not be very good camouflage riding a spotted horse. The Romani traded back and forth, and they still do at various fairs in Egypt. Appleby Horse Fair, the largest and best known equine market anywhere in the world. Appleby Fair runs a week in June in the town of Appleby, West Northern Cumbria. The Horse Fair is world famous and attracts a huge gypsy gathering. The fair has existed for horse trading since 16. 85. The sights, the sounds, and the smells of the fair are incredible. The horses literally, literally take over the village for the whole week. They can be found tethered to the lampposts, outside the pubs, walking along the streets and in the fields surrounding the village. Many travelers also park their caravans in the field. The breed's confirmation is between 12 and 16 hands. They come in all colors, including buckskin, palomino, gray, silver, dapple, and even apple Gypsy cops typically weigh between 1,000 and 1,300 pounds. They have huge flat bone, comparatively short body, thick neck, long shoulder, and wide chest. The hind quarters are large and powerful. The most valued Roma stock have a perfect confirmation of calm and friendly attitude and lots of hair, including a beautiful feather. The sweet pony head is desirable, the deep, soft kind eye. One or two blue eyes are quite common. The feather is a trait the gypsy cob is known for. It should start at the knee and fall to the ground, covering the entire head. Straight, silky feather is preferred. In some way, of course, this is acceptable. Most will have a long mane and tail. Some even have a double mane. Gypsy cops have lots of body hair, long belly hair, shaggy winter coats, and beards. Many will have a coveted lucky mustache on their upper lip. A true gypsy breeder would never clip or trim excess hair. Today, gypsies are shown without any clipping or trimming. Gypsy horses was involved in every aspect of my life. I'm pulling the caravan. I'm lagging my bag. Still 
being patient enough to teach the gypsy children to ride after the day's work was done. The horses were tethered in a campsite while the Bardo, the Bardo wagon, not working. We lived and tried in all types of weather, grazing on the grasses along the side of the road. The hardiness and exceptional disposition of these horses are their trademarks. Known for being one of the most docile horses in the world, they're gentle giants. The calm, quiet eye. Even in the stallions, these characteristics are a must. They're a cold-blooded animal with a very quiet temperament. A typical gypsy horse shows willingness and strength with power and heart. Gypsy cops can excel in English and Western pleasure. Jumping, barrel racing, dressage, and even cattle work. Today they're found all over Europe, North America, and Australia. With the widespread popularity of this breed, it became imperative that the bloodlines be documented. Several different registries are available today. DNA testing has been established to form a modern data bank to save this wonderful horse's heritage. They worked for years to ensure that the history of the future are preserved for this exciting breed. Ladies and gentlemen, the beautiful Gypsy Cow. Please go by and visit them. The beautiful Gypsy Cops at bar number five. Great demonstration of Gibson.